Yeah, keep it crazy, family. (laughs) 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 Okay. Well, here's the thing. Normally, and I know I said this in a previous thing, but normally I'm so organized and like ready for Christmas, start months in advance. We are ready, right, Jamie? Yes. Normally. Normally. I'm really, really struggling this year because, well, I have started one of the kids, but that's it. And I'm just like, what do I get them? And like, I don't know. And so they did Christmas list and then I sent them off to grandparents because they kept asking me. And I'm pretty sure the grandparents bought their list. And now I really don't know what to do. So (laughs) we're going to be doing new Christmas lists, even though the kids have already done them, but we're doing them again. And I printed off, look how cute this is little Christmas Christmas wish list with like their favorite color and candy and then what they need what want they... wear and read I don't read so Ariana you need to read <laughs> I'm gonna get you a book do you read Jamie <laughs> yes you I actually read. do read I read I read last night you did what book are you reading I'm reading the same book but well, I know it's not Christmassy but it's okay Oh, Mariah Carey. I'm going to get you that for Christmas, too. I'm just kidding. (laughs) You need to read at least one. You have to write one one thing on the list. Fine, fine. You could do a Dr. Seuss. You could do... No, I actually have a book I want. Really? Yeah, I read it in a seventh grade or eighth. No, no, I think it was in sixth grade. Aww. So all the kids are going to be getting home from school soon, and we're going to hand them these lists, and let's see what they put on them. This always gets really interesting. Max's first list that I sent to the grandparents, he put a Bitcoin on it. And I'm like, how are you supposed to buy that for Christmas? A good investment, though. Max's was impressive investment-wise, but I was like, Max, it's not a Christmas list. You gotta try again. <laughs> and I guess it could be. <laughs> we'll see when they get here. You can see the sparkle in my eye. With the love all around it feels so right And I will take this opportunity to share you There's no way that I could Thank you Green Chef for sponsoring this video I'm actually sitting in my closet, as you can see. <laughs> it's actually nice and peaceful and quiet in here. But anyways, the kids still aren't home quite yet. I have an appointment um, that I have to go to for a few minutes. And why I'm gone, Alex and Aaron Green Chef came in and they're like, we want to spend some one-on-one time and cook that. So that's going to be amazing in just a little bit. But I wanted to share with you guys one of the Christmas lists from my new kid. And he made this list last night. He saw me printing them out and he's like, can I make mine tonight? And I was like, yeah, of course. Um, So he made his and he gave it to me this morning. And I was like, so under his need, he literally put, I need to spend time with my family and feed the homeless and clothes. And I know I'm getting so emotional about that, but he was like, all I want for Christmas is to spend time with you and spend time with the family and just make memories together. And I was just like, and feed the homeless. And I'm like, what an amazing heart. Like, he's just so incredible. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to meet him. But we should be getting, hopefully, an adoption date really soon. We have all the paperwork in. We're just waiting on the courts. They kind of take forever nowadays. Um... But along those lines, I just wanted to tell you guys a quick, quick story about Christmas lists and how I feel about them. So I do have the kids make Christmas lists every year. But to be honest, I don't really go off of them. I mean, I'll get like a few things off of them. But my major, major thing is I have them take the love language test. And I know each of my kids love language and all of that. Um, We should do a video kind of talking about each of their love languages because it's so cute to see. Most of them are quality time, actually. A few of them are gifts and one or two two or three of them actually Aaron is one of them words of affirmation is Aaron so um with that though 
I really like to tailor my gifts to their love language. And let me kind of explain why. So when I was growing up, I can remember two Christmas. And one of them for a good reason, one of them for a bad reason. So one of them, I was probably seven, eight years old, and I was obsessed with Tweety Bird. I don't know why, I just really, really liked Tweety Bird at the time. So, but I didn't really put that on my Christmas list, but my mom knew me enough that my Christmas was filled with Tweety Bird and I had like pens and she got me a t-shirt and found this little like keychain thing and like, I don't know. And I remember feeling so special and so loved because it's not something that I asked for. It's something that my mom knew me so well that she knew exactly what I would like. And that's something that I try to do every single year with my kids is like, pay attention when we're in stores and see what they're looking at. And they're like, oh, this is so cute. I like mental note, okay, that's so cute. She likes that, that's her style. Like I really, really try hard <laughs> to remember and make each one of the kids things special. So whenever you see a kid usually cry on Christmas or they get a certain gift and they're like, wait, what? It's usually because it's not something that was on their list. It's something that I knew that they would like or needed. And I just knew it from paying attention. And I feel like those are the most special gifts. What? <laughs> and my other side, sorry, I'm trying to make this story short and I have to get going. Um, but my other side of it is my other Christmas, I remember I was probably like 16. And I think my mom at this point was kind of like, I was working all the time or hanging out with Aaron or I was just so busy that um, she just took me into a store and was like, okay, show me three or four shirts that you like. And so I took her around the store. I showed her three or four shirts that I liked. She had me leave the store and then I didn't know which ones she bought. Like kind of like it was a surprise, but it kind of not, I get the attention. Like her intention was really good with it. And then I remember opening up those three shirts that I picked out on Christmas morning and feeling so disappointed. And I didn't understand why at the time I was like, literally she got me what I wanted. Like why am I feeling disappointment on Christmas? And I've always thought about that through the years and it finally clicked on me that it it's because I picked it out. It's because my love language, a huge one of it is quality time and that just that time spent together. And I felt like in that moment in my life that my mom didn't really, really know me the way that I would hope that she would. But I was a teenager and I totally understand why. It's nothing my mom did wrong at all. I'm sure a couple of my kids probably feel that way too. It's kind of hard in that teenage stage. But I put every effort in that I can to make sure that that quality time and that where I know each one of my kids on a deeper level and I know their likes and interests and that's something that's huge, huge to me. So anyways, long story short, I do have the kids make Christmas list. I do love that they do that but I usually go off the list and try to buy my own stuff which maybe is why I'm struggling a little bit this year because a lot of the kids have a lot of the stuff that they want and I know Hallie in particular was like, literally I will, I just wanna donate all my Christmas gifts. And this year like I don't really need anything, I just want quality time. So I'm like, do I do like a trip for Christmas? Like I don't know, I don't know. I'm still kinda of going back and forth but I will figure it out and it will be the most amazing Christmas, especially with our new kids it being their first Christmas. So I gotta get going to an appointment, Aaron and Alex are gonna make some green chef with all of you and spend some time. And then we will see what everybody else puts on their Christmas list when they get home from school. All right, you guys, it is lunchtime and I am starving. And joining wow. me is Alex. <laughs> so he recently started a brand new job. So he's been working here and there and I'm not getting as much time with him. And so I am super excited to be cooking lunch today with him. We're gonna We're doing green make some food, food. We'll watch a show. But we're going to do Green Chef. Barbecue pork cheeseburgers. Yum. Yeah, this looks I'm good. So... You can never go wrong with a good burger. Recipes are easy to follow with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you along.
Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. So I gotta spread these out evenly. All right, so how's your new job been going? It was good. For my first day, it was really long. I had an orientation, so I had to do all like the paperwork and everything. I have to finish some of the lessons that I have to do for like, you know, there's like lessons on what to do if there's like a chemical spill or stuff like that. So I have to finish those, then I can start my training. So I go back to work tomorrow and then I'll finish that so I can start my training tomorrow. It was really long, but it, it wasn't bad. It was good. It is preheated and let's put it in. All right. The How seasonings on that smell so good. It smelled so good. Dishes for a variety of lifestyles. Keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean for those who simply want a little more balance. Everything is hand-picked and delivered right to your door. Let's eat. Ready? Ready? Oh! Mmm. That Italian seasoning is perfect. That is good. Mm. And with the pepper, that, that brings it out. Very good. Right, let's try this burger because I cannot wait. Look at the juice. Oh! Alright. Ah. One, two, three. Mmm. Mm, okay. Oh, it's so juicy. Mmm. Oh, the taste is amazing. Go to greenchef.us and use code CRAZYPIECES10 to get 10 free meals plus free shipping on your first box. Hannah isn't feeling good. Just had a headache all day. I have your Christmas list to fill out. You okay? Yeah. Here's some medicine, too. I sent you a snack, but I don't know if you open it. Hallie, here's your list. List. Yeah, I sent you a You read a lot, actually, so there might be quite a bit on there. I just need suggestions for books. Oh. I can't help you. There. I, don't <laughs> I have a couple. I, I have a couple know. ideas. Okay. Oh, Hannah has a couple ideas for you, too. Ideas for you. Okay. She really enjoyed the book. It's, it's just a great show. All right, Alex. It's really creepy. Make sure you add a book to it. Add a book. I don't read. Alex. Oh, I don't read. You used to read all the Percy Joan books. Okay. Jackson. Those are still Percy my favorite. Percy Jackson. Oh, Percy Jackson. Percy Jones. <laughs> Those are still my I meant Percy Jackson. I but like, I fall asleep reading, Mom. I can't read. That's okay. Yeah. That's it's still good what, for you. What? Can I? Can I ask for a Dr. Seuss book? Yeah. Let's go. I bet. <laughs> I <go>. agree. <laughs> you actually read. Random. Articles on you end. used to read all of the <laughs> land, um, of stories. land of story books. I'll do. I'll do. I can I do those. the entire Diary of a Wimpy Kid trilogy? Sure. Yeah. Let's go. That'd be awesome. Let's go. I'm you can it. save them for your future kids. Let's now. go. And Magic Treehouse. Oh yeah, those are good ones. And Judy B. Jones. And Judy, Judy B. Jones. Jones. That's those what you used to love those. those this is like my favorite thing when I find stuff like this around the house. This is what makes my heart so warm. Santa, he's tucked in a blanket. Aww. That means Aurora was being so sweet to Santa. I love well, things like that. At least we know she's on the nice list. <laughs> she has definitely made it to the nice list. Aww, she tucked in the Santa. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? She's all big chillin' now. <laughs> yeah, I came home for lunch today and she was like, Santa! She was like showing it to me. She I'm loves like, that thing. She gives it a hug every morning. You're doing great, Jamie. Love it. How was school today? Good. Good. Christmas list. <laughs> your needs, your wants, your favorite color, all that fun stuff. Here you Yay. go, Savannah. <laughs> the way you did that, you're like, how's your school? How's your dance school? Is it good? I'm like, good. Christmas list. <laughs> <laughs> And the 
is what I want. It's my favorite color. It says it says a bunch of stuff that is it says my favorite color. That's black, so color. black, white, black, white, red. Um, favorite candy, M and M's, and Kit Kats. Um, favorite activity, basketball. Um, favorite store, QT, Walmart, and mall. Um, favorite hobby is basketball. So it said read, so like a book. Yeah. Um, di Diary of Wimpy Kid Wrecking Ball. Diary of Wimpy Kid Hard Luck. So you know needs are supposed to be like if you need a jacket or more I socks don't. or anything. I don't. I know, you don't really need anything right now, right. huh? Right. Fun fact, Brody has actually made five lists this year. He keeps making extra, so he, he just did that. And then I saw this one on my desk yesterday of some more stuff he was thinking of. And then he also made like two or three other lists. So he's having fun making his list this year. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Also, I have a little back. This one. Oh, I didn't even see the back. Holy cow, Logan. I was going to call you Logan because Logan's <laughs> on my background. Holy cow, Brody. <laughs> Well, that's pretty fun. I love it. I've made like 16 lists. I've made so much. You've made a lot of lists this year. I've just looked at so much other stuff and I want it. And you keep and thinking of all these thinking. things. It doesn't have like the thing right there. Are you telling me what a fitted hat is? Oh, yes. okay, okay. Fitted hats are so How do we know what size? Or is it one size fit all? Like, I'm gonna I'm Seven and a half, I I'm think. eight. Okay, you gotta write that on your list because I'm not gonna remember. <laughs> okay, so Savannah and Jake are all done with their lists. Let's see them. I just wanted to ask her because I was looking at other people's, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> so Savannah is the the shopper that like she likes to put her list and then she likes to see everybody else's list to get ideas and then add them to her list. It's very smart. It's very well played, Savannah. Oh, you don't want to mess around. You want me to see that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what you want on the fitted hat? Or it can be whatever. I just, well, yes. Yes, there's like, I don't want like. I know what I want. I want my nickname. I want like, Banna. I want the Banna. Like Banna. Like that. Like, you know how they have the symbols? Oh. Not like okay. this. No, but like, do you want. Not like that. Do you want stitches? Not like that? Okay. Not on it, like stitches. Or like, not like that. Okay, I think I got you. I think I understand. Yeah, I want the same thing, like but like I want. Adidas. I want the same thing. Like if you look at Ariana's and how hers yeah. has little Ari, I want Banna. Banna with a B. It's, it's Write like, that on your it's list. It's like that, but instead it's like got that. It. You know, like okay. non I don't like them with the hooks. Okay, straight, straight across. Right I got you, Jake. I got you. And then, okay, let's see what else is on your list. Looks like quite the list. Mm, you guys ah. Shoes fitted. Oh, you were on there twice. Okay. I like yeah, it. More like three that times. means he really, really, really wants it. You put it on there three times. I'll write it. Self lacy <laughs> Nike Mag shoes. Those are dope. Okay, Banna. What's Mine's on your more list? What do you want? Yeah, yours is very good. I'll take it. I couldn't think of a candy that I like really liked, so I just put sour gummy worms because you know those are good too. What book did you end up choosing? I chose three, four. Oh. Okay. Around there. So there's obviously gotta go with the classics. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Duh. I'm kidding. I didn't write that. I did at first, but the boys all wrote that one. They like the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah, I wrote to all the boys I've loved before because that's such a good movie, and I want to see the book. Like if they. You want to see the book? <laughs> I'm gonna read the book and see if I like it better than the movie. Okay, I like it. Everyone at my school is talking about Anne Frank, so I want to read those. I like it. I love it. And then five feet apart, because you know why not? Love it. Okay, so this list, when I first read this list, this is Emma's list. Can I read uh, it? Here's what, but look at the bottom. It says boyfriend, but it, then it says jeans. I thought she was just saying boyfriend, but no boyfriend. I'm gonna write a boyfriend on my list. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Jamie is all done with her list. What kind of books you got? Anton, Spear, Twilight books. Yeah. That's a good idea, huh? Yeah. You gonna add that to your list? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Probably maybe they're literally two hours long. <laughs>
<laughs> I wonder how big the books are. Yeah, let's have them out. Baby Yoda PJs, heck yeah. And the Grinch long sleeves, some shoes. <gasps> what are you gonna put on your list? Hold on. What do you have on your Christmas list? Yeah, Dad. I have everything I want. Aww. I have an amazing family. Aww. People I love. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Aww. That's the sweetest. If you're scared of the dark, let the run down street lights be your stars. And then picture swings in the park, and I'll swing with.